the mission of the Toastmasters Club. <coughs> the mission of the Toastmasters Club is to provide mutually beneficial positive learning environment where every individual member has an opportunity to develop oral communication and leadership skills. Washington fosters self-confidence and individual growth. May I request all the members and guests once again to put your hands together to welcome our President ACBCL Smart Nation Stage. Dear those small states, friends and children, what is happening to our life? Where can we find satisfaction, happiness and how can we perform better? In this time, the entry to our small states is pleased to present to you a person who can probably give us some answers into these questions which we ask. How can we perform better? He is a man of varied skills, education which every student will be aware of. He has given lectures on topics which we all, we all would like to have listened and learned. He is a man of varied interest. His interest ranges from philosophy to vast to astronomy and management and so on so forth. He has served as scientist the government of India, principal director in the security agency of the government of India and on various positions as well. He has given his lectures on all topics of management, life skills and education and so on so forth to audiences in India as well as in abroad. So we are very pleased that such a person has is visiting Oman and he is going to share his thoughts and his ideas. And to tell us what he thinks about all challenges in this time. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome today's guest speaker, Dr. Sishi. Namaskaram to all of you. Namaskaram. Namaskaram means. <laughs> cannot be translated into any other language. Generally I say na means me, na means no, ma means me, na ma means I am not there. When somebody responds saying nama means he is not there, that means you are not there. When I say Namaskaram, that means I have no ego that I am lecturing and I am one among you. That's why I don't stand on the stage and stand on the same floor where you are. Okay. And you also agreed that you are one among me, so you will share whatever you have. I very, very glad to be among you. Maybe. Uh, 2003 October is the time when I was in Oman for a few lectures. I visited few schools and gave a few lectures in different places. It's my second visit in Oman for the <coughs> film festival. I thought I have some time so I will spend it with you. I'm very glad that you have got a, uh, a club like this where you are looking at communication skill and leadership qualities etc. This is the topic which I am teaching in Vivekananda Institute of Human Excellence at Hyderabad with Ramakrishna Mutt for last 10 years must have met more than 6 lakhs of students because every week I have a rolling studentship of nearly 400 students so 400 into 52 into last 10 years so that's my strength it's a wonderful topic but generally I am a slightly different person who will not talk about communication skill as it is and interpersonal relationship as it is as it is. I will try to put it in Eastern philosophical style. Okay. Before that, I understand you have got one paper given in which you keep listening to many lectures so you have some idea what you want from me. I think I am sure few of you must have seen my biodata and what I speak and some details are available. Any of you heard me earlier by, by chance? Okay, wonderful. That's good. 
Now, can you just write few questions and give it to me if you if you have something related to any of this field? It could be anything other than this also. You can just write and give me some questions. One. We'll wait some two minutes in case if you can write some questions and can you please write your email address and telephone number along with that, whoever gives. If it can be shared. If it's confidential, don't do that. <laughs> It's just to give you an information, if I by chance come to us, uh, Muscat next time, you will get an email from me. That's only uh, purpose, nothing else. And just type, write your email address, where you are, probably where you are working, you like to put your personal details there, telephone number, I'll be glad. Sometimes Vaishya, sometimes Shudra, 
it's all sabhava prabhava gune your character is as you behave and as you behave you will become you want to be a kshatriya we have like we had first conversions nanu prasad yadav's group yadavan oh krishna he converted into godhood so first conversion was lord krishna himself we have got kshatriyas converted into god rama was a kshatriya he became god so anyone can get converted to do anything by changing your character and the way of living so your satsang will make you to behave in some style your requirement will make you what you want if you have good people among you who are all in one side direction looking for only one character they will become that you have people around you who talks about only business you will also talk about business you have people who talks about only social service you will also do social service it's a culture which makes us what we are and what is culture the people around you defines what is culture it keeps changing by time date region everything so we have satsang for making us to think in one direction what is the direction it is not that we don't want money not that we don't want position not that we don't want knowledge not that we don't want to be happy balance all of them you to have sufficient money sufficient knowledge sufficient strength sufficiently famous be happy also and where is that it's in your hand no where else it's all in your hand the morning prayer which we chant as soon as we get up from the bed before you get up you are supposed to cross your leg and sit like this the cross leg and then look at your own palm and chant one mantra what is that karagre vasate lakshmi karamadhye saraswati karamule sita there are two versions that's why i stopped there somebody says gauri somebody says govinda govinda already have sufficient wives why do you want to put in front of them and when two ladies are there let us put the third lady it is more logical gauri karagre vasate lakshmi we show like this everybody understand it is money but i always start with the eh? money always start actually this is to tell you that money is in your hand in your fingertips not in somebody's hand and lakshmi is in your hand saraswati is in your hand your shakti is also in my hand not in somebody's hand we keep blaming others i am not able to do because they are not no you are not good it's to blame you and to tell you that you are stronger because you are good and so wonderful our concept in uh, indian philosophy lakshmi's husband is vishnu vishnu vishnu's job is maintenance when you don't have money you can't maintain anything therefore the money minister finance minister is lakshmi her husband is put in maintenance department and next is saraswati education minister and education minister's husband is brahma creativity if you want to be creative you have to have learn education first if you are not educated you cannot be creative you have education but don't become creative your education will diverge and similarly you have shakti shakti's husband is shiva anybody who fall sick will lose their sleep and god of sleep meditation is shiva and god of shakti is parvati any doctor will ask you a question how is your sleep good sleep that means you are healthy good sleep is the synonym for health if shiva is valli is not there the lady is not there shiva will become shava very simple so it has to be together and all the three powers are in your hand it's in me if you keep on saying that and you will become so powerful that's a concept which we have so what you want you can decide you want money yes you can make it you want power you can make it with your shakti you want education you can make it with your shakti and all these will not give you happiness if it is not added to with the spiritual spirituality is the one which balances all of them do you want yes i want do you want not required give me you take it no oh, i don't mind taking it do you really want no problem if it is not there also no problem <laughs> can you have this detached attachment that's what is spirituality which provides okay you have or every ritual which we have is a sacrifice 
when you don't eat it is called upavasa right that means every poor fellow in the country is doing upavasa no they don't have they don't eat that is not called upavasa you have and you don't eat that is called upavasa you understood it's not that i don't have therefore i don't eat you have but you don't want bharat is a place where people are famous only when they left whatever they have understand in all the other country they have only two sorts of people marxism says who have and who don't have here we have people who had but left everything they are the people very good when somebody is very simple you call him he is a very simple man do you call every simple man as a simple man no when he is rich he don't show his power he say he is a simple man if not a rich fellow and he shows off we will blame him. not a rich fellow if he is very simple also we will not pat him so having and don't using is what is becoming spiritual it doesn't say that you should not on money you should not money but that get attached to that it's not that don't learn anything you must learn and try to give it learn and give it learn and teach have sufficient and then serve it to people become famous for what purpose to serve somebody to help somebody there are so many people who physically strong muscles but they don't do any job what is the purpose of having good strength but don't do anything your strength is for making it useful for somebody else so that's more essential ena kena prakarena yasya kasya videhinah santosham janayat pratna tadevam ishwara puja ishwara puja is serving people don't ask how when where how who will do it do something and serve people. and what is that you want serving people helping people making people happy you want temporary happiness or permanent happiness many people serve to make temporary happiness but that's not helping make them permanently happy and that's true spiritual you can't make people happy you can give food people will be happy maja but how long after lunch you will search who is going to give me dinner <laughs> it's only 4 hours 5 hours not more than that the time you feel start feeling hungry you will search for the another fellow to feed you most of the temples it is written annadanam param danam the biggest dana is annadanam if you get a paint and brush you paint it annadanam is not the biggest dana vidya dana madat param annena chaniga trutihi yavat jeevam cha vidyaya annam will give you only little happiness for some time but vidya knowledge will give you much more knowledge and that you can may digest may not digest doesn't matter maybe after some time it will digest the whole life you will keep it with you. so that's what only human being have this capability learning and teaching correct no every animal thinks about eating ahara nidra bhayam maidunam sex these four qualities are equal samani chaitani nrnam pashuna animal and human being these qualities are equal nanam naranam adigo vishesho nane vihina pashu vis samana if you don't have knowledge you don't teach you are not a human being you are just an animal so try to learn and teach as many people as you can satsang is a place we learn so much because somebody know something somebody else do not know that but you have some knowledge somebody else have some other knowledge satsang should distribute the knowledge so this could be one activity all people have problems there are three ways of solving problems with the jnana with the karma and with the bhakti just bhakti yes possible just with knowledge it's possible just with karma it's possible but can you mix all of them that is the most intelligent way of solving problem you must have bhakti you must also have gnanam you must also do karma that's what bhagavad gita says starting from the vishada yogam in the first chapter when he takes people to the moksha sanyasa yogam he is taking people to the meditation level where you have got sufficient karma and also you have got sufficient knowledge and you also become with the bhakti do it with the bhakti
best example which a student or a small kid looks upon is on teacher and parents each word we pronounce is a lesson for them each word we pronounce is a veda vakyam for them they start listening to that very carefully and counter attacking you after some time like no when the husband is called wife say you are educated but you have no knowledge or the kid knows if you get educated also you will have no knowledge why should i study <laughs> correct no it's very simple each word is taken as a veda vakyam for you assume that you are telling somebody else telephone is coming don't attend it yeah it's a disturbance it also will do the same thing tomorrow when you call them they will say don't attend it it's a disturbance it's the way we train them how do they learn how to take care of parents how to deal with the people around you say don't go to the neighbor no they are all dangerous fellows finished they will never become social i remember when i stand in the bus stop my son when the other bus comes for picking up the students somebody will be carrying a backpack and the zip is open my son goes and closes it i said don't do it beta because by the time if he falls the blame is on you don't we say this generally we are so selfish no blame should not come on us first feeling is that because we are worried what will happen but if you stop him tomorrow he will never serve anybody you become a role model for helping people serving people suffering taking pain they will also become they should see you and then try to emulate and follow you that's more important in every action every activity if you make your father happy they will also make you happy if you don't serve your parents you say don't why to go to india ya yeah? 10000 rupees 10000 20000 rupees what does it the father is there no we will see next year <laughs> the kid also will keep postponing after some time they will never come back to you. that's the way every parent will spend long time now what you should show or what we should when she keeps her son on the lap like this it's a lesson for each one of us my mother also have kept me on my mother's lap like this am i giving a chance for my mother to sleep on my lap that question i should have when i am seeing this every view is a lesson for me. there is a small lesson which old man in the balcony is reading a newspaper and then i don't know whether somebody has heard this heard this and somebody is typing a laptop and playing inside heard this told this in this question then this man is typing something old man is reading newspaper and he is asking the son what is there in the balcony and he says it is a crow second time he asks what is there in the balcony he says i told you no, it's a crow why are you asking this you heard this don't make me to repeat heard this then after third time when he asks he says don't ask me this question again fourth time when he asks he turns the chair back and says don't look that side the father again looks back and says beta what is there in the balcony and he push him inside and then close the door don't see that and the father again father also is slightly bad <laughs> he looks through the window and says then what is there in the balcony and the beta comes and then puts his leg on the chair the chair falls down he gets up and then sits back and says better take my diary 30 years old on the same day look at that page you ask me 37 times what is there in the balcony and each time i have answered you and you don't have patience to even answer once or twice it's a problem which we have. you must have sufficient patience with our parents and that's how they will learn okay i have a small book called life made simple and in which i don't know whether i have it here
Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm very happy that I've got questions which can be answered in the whole of my lifetime. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll pick up something on random and try to effectively answer it. As Girish Ji says, hopefully I'll be able to answer it. How to improve our emotions, how to control our emotions. It's a wonderful question. Emotion is a feeling which comes out of your manas. Emotion is something which comes out of your manas. And that manas always have desire. So the other word of emotion could be desire. If you have desire, desire for anything. That's a wonderful phenomena which every person who has got a good manas should have. The other word generally people use for manas is heart. But heart is not manas, but it's very close to manas. I always contradict saying that manas is not heart. Because as a, I'm a poet, I have a poetry book in which one of the poetry is the heart surgery open heart surgery. The poet who gets a heart attack and I am submitted to a surgery, open heart surgery and I say that please don't open my heart because there are a lot of secrets inside my heart. People get confused between heart and manas. Okay, emotions are in the manas. It's really good and never try to control your emotions. Emotions are desire and that has to grow. It should fly like a kite. Don't control it. Allow it to fly. When you have a rope for a kite, it is not to control the kite. It is to make the kite to fly higher. But the thread has to be left free but tightened so that it will not fall. I don't know whether you got it or not. So you allow the emotions to fly. So feelings should fly. Love should fly. Desire should fly. But try to make the thread tightened so that it will not make some mistakes. Otherwise it makes mistakes. Any emotions which once you get satisfied it gives happiness. Have to be accepted. If that happiness is too short, if it is too short and soon after that you feel, oh, I should not have done it, then that happiness is what is bad. Any happiness which will never make you to tell tomorrow or just after that, oh, what I have done is good, keep doing it. So emotions have to be segregated into what is good for you and what is bad for you. And what is good for you, which gives you permanent happiness, what is bad for you, is gives happiness for temporary time, but makes you to feel bad after some time. Okay, so probably we will elaborate something more on that when some more questions come in that fact. Strong personality, what are the key factors of strong personality? Strong personality, there are five factors. Exactly five factors. One is physical. You must have a physic which is strong. Physic doesn't mean you must have Amitabh Bachchan's height or maybe Shah Rukh Khan's muscle or you can dance like Salman Khan or somebody else. Not necessarily. You have to be fit for doing the job what is assigned to you. That is physical fitness. My job today which I have opted is to give lectures. I must be physically strong where I can stand and talk. That's enough. If I am a person who is supposed to work on the ground, I must be physically strong enough to work on the sun, then that is physical fitness. Physical fitness is relative. On what job you are planning to work, be fit for that. If I am a runner, I have to be a runner. If I am not a runner, I need not to become a runner. I must have enough muscles if I have to be 
in that field. Otherwise, I don't require muscles. You need not be physically strong more than what really is required for you. So, physical fitness, that's what, fit for what? Fit for the job which you plan to do it. So, that is what physically fit or unfit means. Second should be, you must have emotionally controlled. Again, emotionally controlled. That's what I will explain it later. Emotionally controlled is not the word which is used traditionally. It says emotionally balanced. What is emotional balance? Sthita prakna avastha. Sthita prakna. When Arjuna was totally emotionally upset in the war field and Krishna advised him what is to be done. Don't get emotionally upset so that whatever you have learned you will not be able to perform. The emotional attachment which he had to his relatives made him to forget whatever he has learned as a fighter. So Krishna said, become emotionally controlled, emotionally strong, emotionally balanced. You can call any name. But it, in Sanskrit it is called Stida Pratnavastha. What is Stida Pratnavastha? He asks back. And the answer is given by Lord Krishna. Dukheshu anudiknamana sukheshu vikatas praha vita raga bhaya krodha sthidadir muniruchyade. Dukkeshu anudhik namana. When you have dukkam, don't become totally upset when you are sad. Don't worry. Things will fall. After some time it will be alright. We must have cried in our life for many purposes. After a few minutes, maybe after a few days, we will feel, oh, that cry was useless. We will become again balanced. Maybe we are too happy and start jumping on something. How long? That happiness will be for too short. So not required. You don't have to be so happy when something happens to you. Dukkeshu anudiknamana sukheshu vigatas praha vita raga bhaya krodha Even bhayam when you have, the worries which you have, you don't have to worry too much. After some time things will fall in life. Bhayam krodham, you get angry. That's also emotionally not being controlled. You get angry. For what? For many purposes. But don't get angry. This is what is emotional control or if you want to call it as it is emotionally balanced. So physical, emotional, intellectual. You must be a person who can read, understand, learn, criticize, judge. All these capability you should have. Any subject given. Can you concentrate on that? Understand whatever the concept is. Put into your buddhi and use it whenever you want. That's more important. Many people have sufficient knowledge, but at the right point they are not able to use it. After some time you will remember. You have to recollect somebody's telephone number. Exactly that time you will not remember, but after some time you will get it. So intellect, capability to comprehend and use it at the right place at the right time. That capability is intellectual capability. Physical, emotional, intellectual and as human being we are supposed to be being human is human being being social is social being therefore one of the personality concept is called being social you must be social as social as you can if you know 100 people today tomorrow you must be able to add a few more people to that and maintain that relation as much as you can. Keep your relations growing. That's very easy sometimes. But maintaining the old relation is very difficult. Do that also. That's what is being social means. So you have to be socially strong. So physical, emotional, intellectual, social and spiritual. And being spiritual is the place where you become total blissful state. Where you are not worried about any of this. If you have, it's fine. If you don't have, you are fine. So your desire itself will become less and you enjoy the inner blissfulness, inner happiness. You get awareness and you get into a state of 
through out happiness if you don't have also some time otherwise you become too materialistic and staying away from that to a state where you can enjoy if you have you can enjoy if you don't have also that sort of state is what is called a spiritual so being spiritual that is atmiyam is the last state so these five together is called a strong personality what are the key destroyers of personality so having said this it's understood what are the key destroyers not being social can be one the more selfish people are more unhappy fellows so reaching from this level to the spiritual level the more spiritual you are you are good if you are not able to be spiritual you are not able to control your emotions look back you will see there is something in you which creates troubles to you and what is that something it could be an unhappiness and not being satisfied you internally that creates angry and why are you forgetting things because you have not learned thoroughly and why you are not physically strong because you have selected something which is not fit for you and these are all related not you can't say that these are not related when physically you are strong and emotionally not strong mentally manas is not very strong emotionally not strong then the body also will start decaying assume you are mentally strong the body is not that strong you can compensate it and make it more powerful also it says shariram is body manas is where the emotions happens sharira manaso yoga they are related together paraspara manuvrajet totally close linked together how tapta ajya khadayoriva as a vessel and an oil if you put hot oil in the cold vessel vessel will get heated up like in your body you have a mind which is aggressive your body will start reacting that's so you can see when somebody gets angry your cheeks will start trembling eyebrows will go up and down your face color will change all that will happen the body gets reacted when your emotions are different when you are happy your body will become smiling many people here are sitting too egoistic don't smile at all very serious the muscles are kept why you think that you have some extra ego around you the time you smile your muscles get relaxed you become much more stronger in your life when you want to show a serious face actually you are making 136 muscles reactive to it when you smile 64 muscles only works so you'll become much more longer life emotions are controlled the kids are always smiling face because they have no ego around so they keep smiling all the time the more emotions you control try to control you want to smile but you think you know should i actually what you want to do is coming the desire comes from the manas and the buddhi will say no yeah don't do it when you become more and more intellectual the emotions gets controlled that way intellect and emotion they are controlled each other you want to eat something the desire comes from manas and buddhi will say don't eat because it's not very good for because you must have learned some words the intellect and the emotion starts fighting and people become unhappy so it's all related the more desire you have your buddhi will not start function if you have more buddhi your desire will have to be controlled similarly the emotions are not controllable your body will have reactions when you get angry when you are in anxiety when you are in hurry your adrenaline will change the chemistry in the body changes therefore you start reacting entirely different when your body chemistry changes or you have a slight cold then you will feel not interested in something therefore the body will also dictate the manas that's why it should go together so all these personality factors are related to each other and how do you become stronger how do you destroy this it's it's the way of practice the life has to be uh, tuned for such things i have the fear that i will fail though i have failed sometimes generally i am okay how to eliminate fear the fear comes because of three factors 
One is the basic attitude people have. Some people have the psychological problem of fear. Second thing, they have a bad environment. If they have a good environment, they will become fearless. If everybody around them are stronger, and probably the person also becomes stronger. Assume you have got some bad experience in your childhood, you will become fearful. Not necessarily childhood. You are an expert driver and you are driving fearlessly. One accident once is enough. From then you will start fearing. So any experience can add fear. These are all some accidental things. Otherwise, generally it is a basic attitude. Second one, if you don't have skill, you will fear. If you are an expert driver, driving is not a fear for you. If you are an expert swimmer, jumping in water is not fear for you. If you don't know swimming, jumping in water will make you fear. So if you are a skilled person, the fear is not a problem. It will not affect you. And third thing is the environment. Your attitude, skill and environment, these are the three things make you to perform anything. And these are the three factors which gives you fear. You may have a good communication skill. You have sufficient knowledge. But some people cannot express the way they wanted to. They are fearing. If I ask somebody to come and talk about a subject here, they have sufficient knowledge of the subject, sufficient language to express the feelings, communication. Skill is also there, but they are fearing to communicate. The reason is sometimes they have an extra ego added. You ask a small child to sing a song, the time you stop, they start singing. As you grow, what happens? You don't sing. Why? Because you are fear of losing the status which you think which you don't have. That you know that no, this person can sing well. <laughs> and then once you sing finished, you lose all that status which you have. So it could be a false ego around you which is a fear. So there can be hundred reasons for having fear. So how to face it? Become as simple as you are. Become as simple as you can. Never, never, never think about anything which hurts your ego, first thing. Second thing, learn as much as you can. You become a skilled person. Knowledge is different and skill means you have practical experience of doing things. Experience as much. If I am a good driver, I have no worry, in, no fear in driving. So how to become a fearless driver? Drive. Keep practicing. And you don't have a license. While driving you will be fearful. Assume that you have a police sitting beside you. He says don't worry I am there with you. Then you will not have to fear. So yes, sometime your environment will give you. Sometime having knowledge is a fear. Sometime not having knowledge is a fear. Assume you know I am going to appear for an interview. There are people around you who are much more qualified than you appearing interview become fearful. You know the result is going to be very bad, then it becomes fearful. Sometimes having knowledge is a problem. Assume you are sleeping in a room peacefully, no fear. But somebody comes and tells you, last year somebody committed suicide here. Yeah? <laughs> Finished, the fear starts. So having knowledge becomes a fear for you. Until you know that something happened there, you are peacefully sleeping. So, fear can be with the knowledge, fear can be without the knowledge also. So, hundreds and reasons can be explained on fear alone. Okay, it's a big problem. I am a psychotherapist. So, people come to me with the problems of this kind. Unnecessary fear. And the most difficult fear people have is, one is ego and death. Maximum what will happen? Will die. Are you worried? I am not worried, but no, what will happen to my family? Doesn't matter, yeah, they must be praying for you to die. <laughs> How do you know? They may be more happier if you die. See, people are more selfish. They want to live in this world as long as they can. And what are you doing? We don't know what are we doing. A person who is more social will have less fear. A person who is more social will have less fear. A person who closes himself inside will have more fear. When you live in society, you know, you will see a lot of people who are living, dying, nothing happens. 
Many people think that I am indispensable from my family. If I die, something will happen. That's a big fear for many people. Nothing is going to happen. If you are not there, not there, that's all. You are not indispensable from this world. Many people think, I am running this office, sir, for if I am not there, something will happen. What? If you are not there, somebody comes. If you are not there, somebody will come. At home, in the office, in the environment, everywhere, we are not indispensable. So why do you worry? Live as long as you live with full enjoyment. My expansion of life is L-I-F-E stands for live in full enjoyment. Every moment enjoy as much as you can. But never have an enjoyment which will make you to say next moment, Oh, I should not have done it. A permanent enjoyment. That's most essential in life. Define dream. Wonderful question. I said we have desire. I love to eat ice cream. But my buddhi says don't eat. And I skip eating ice cream. At night you will get ice cream in your dream. Any desire which is unsatisfied is the cause for dream. And every one of us, if you are not in deep sleep, and most of us are not in deep sleep, your brain will start functioning, your manas will start giving inputs, and there is something called the Atma. Atma will start putting dream visions. And every one of us will see a dream, which could be of one second, two seconds, five minutes, ten minutes. We may remember, we may not remember. I have a wonderful mechanism where I can continue my dream. If I see something today and somebody wakes me up, tomorrow I want to continue from that place, I can do that. So we can play with the dreams. It's a wonderful experience of playing with the dream. As hypnotists, we make people to dream forcefully to derive their experiences in life, hidden memories. And in dream, you will not see anything which you have not seen in the life. Anything which is experienced with panjendriya, eye, ear, nose, tongue, skin. These things only will be present in the dream. But it could happen, you are seeing an elephant, you are seeing a giraffe. In a dream, the elephant's head will be put on giraffe. You can mix your things and then see as a dream. But nothing will come which you have not seen. Maybe which you have seen in your life somewhere while passing on the road, you will see some boats. You will not be able to recollect. Your brain is not registering it. It's not in your manas. But those boats will come to you in the dream. Anything which is seen by the Indriya, instead of going to brain, instead of going to manas, it may go into the Atma also, which is never used. But you will recollect only when you reach there. That's possible. Therefore, dream is a wonderful subject of interpretation to understand people and we quite often use it for understanding the real character of people but not the behavior pattern. Behavior is what we do in our daily life. Interpersonal relationship is behavior. But under the behavior that is what is called a character, basic character. That character will be brought out through the dream examinations. And what is it? Telepathy, depression, so many things are there. Stress, wonderful. Many people have questions on stress. I was just going through very fast. Stress, people say that, no, I have to control stress. Never control your stress. Take more stress in your life. As much stress as you can. Because stress is productive. Many people get confused with the word between stress and tension. What is to be controlled is tension. Stress is productive. Tension is non-productive. The more stress I have, I will perform well. But where is the line? The stress increases, all on a sudden you become tension. Tension breaks you down. So what you should not have is tension. What you should have is stress. Stress is good and it is productive. Tension is non-productive. So never take your stress to the tension level. And what is tension? What is tension? If you have stress, you will perform well. You will be able to prepare well. If you have a stress on exam, you will do well. What is tension? The time you realize that I am not able to do and I cannot study more, that is the stage where you are tension. So whenever you have tension, there is only one mantra. Can you repeat it? Yes, 
There is one mantra. Can you repeat it? Yes. Say no problem. No problem. Say louder no problem. no problem. Whatever happens, you say no problem. Say. All is well. All is well is a new thing. I am there in the last 10 years. So my nickname is itself is no problem. All is well. All the time you keep saying no problem. Whatever happens, you say no problem. People keep saying I am in a problem. Where are you? I am in a problem. That's what people say. I am in a problem means problem is bigger, you are smaller. Then only you can be inside a problem. Is there any problem in your life which is bigger than you? It's not there, right? So whenever you say I am in a problem, that's a wrong English. So what you should do is say problem is in me. So why you have tension? Because problem is in you. Problem is a toxin. So whenever you have problem, what is to be done? Drink water. Dilute it. Best control of tension is drink water. Wash your face. Wash your legs. Drink water. Take a deep breath. Hold your hands like this. Hold your hands like this. Take a deep breath. Stretch it up. Let the ribs be stretched and then take it down, hit your neighbor who is sitting beside you. <laughs> Relax it and rub your eyes. This is the best way to reduce your tension. Okay, whenever you feel that, oh, you are going to drain out yourself, take a deep breath, hit your neighbor, drink water and wash your legs and face, say no problem. Nothing is going to happen in life. Anything can happen, but nothing is going to happen to you. Your leg may break, your vehicle may hit somebody, you hit somebody, say no problem. He will come and hit you, you say no problem. <laughs> Keep on saying no problem. Once you miss a bus, you get chance of getting into many buses. Why do you worry? If you lose a job, you can get many other jobs. When you get into a job, you miss many buses. Is it not true? When you get into a bus, you miss many buses. When you miss a bus, you get many buses, which is good. Missing a bus is good. When you get married, you lose a lot of chances. You don't marry, you have a lot of chances. So it's the way you look at life. Always be happy. Don't worry. Just keep saying, don't worry, I don't worry, I don't worry, and you will become that. You will become what you think you are. Easiest way. Okay? Somewhere what is Chi? Is it that what is Chi? Chi is the energy, life force energy, the name in Chinese. Okay? It's a life force energy, aura and maintenance of that. It could be equivalent to what we have got in the Rikki or Pranic healing or Esoteric healing or Chi Pranic. Pranic is called Chi. Then. Explain that. What is that? Childhood, your adult to old age, the terms of emotions. I think emotions we have covered. All is well. Is it true? I think I have not read that, but it is there. Control anger. Very good. You want to control anger? Yes? Yes. yes. You want to scold someone? With anger, what do you do? You get angry, what you are doing? You will scold someone, right? You want to scold your spouse? With anger, you want to do that? Just before that, take one bottle of water, drink. You want to scold? You say, please, no wait. I am going to scold you. You drink one bottle. I will drink one bottle because you need sufficient energy to listen. I need sufficient energy to scold. You drink. Both of you can drink. And then, still you want to scold after one bottle finishes? Take one more bottle. Two through bottles are over. You will go to one toilet. They will go to another toilet and flush it out and say, no problem. The simplest is delay. The anger generates adrenaline, acidity in your chemistry. It starts burning when you get anger. The best way is dilute that chemistry. To dilute chemistry, there are two methods. One is breathing practice. You want to scold someone? So please wait and hold like this. They'll run away. They'll think that it is another fighting method. Right? <laughs> What is the best way is to drink as much water as you want. Never scold someone because, never show your anger because you have love to them and authority on them. 
we get angry to only those people where we have got authority correct that's a way of showing our love i scold my son because i have to set him right why because i love him stupid it just you have power on somebody you are scolding assume you don't have power you will never scold anybody will you it's showing authority that is the biggest mistake people are doing love cannot be replaced by authority so never mother have an authority to scold the kids they have only authority to love because i am paying for your food i am paying for your education i can scold you why the boss calls the subordinate because i am paying you must listen to me right no i am authorized to tell what my view is you don't like fine you don't like it's all as simple as that because you are paying me i am ready to do the job and you tell me i will do it but i have a right to tell that this is right this is wrong but beyond that as a subordinate you have no authority as a subordinate you have every right to tell your views but whatever the boss says you must listen if you take this principle then you have no problem in the life at office you have no anger many people when they get angry in the office they come and shower it in the house your unhappiness inside is coming as anger most of the time when people get angry is the curry is not at all good you don't know how to cook it's not because the curry is bad he got some other scolding from somewhere and he has to show it somewhere else so it's all you are not able to express your feeling somewhere else you start expressing it somewhere else every kid must show their anger to their parents because otherwise that quota they will keep and they will show to their spouse tomorrow okay but never show anger as the mother is as the kid will be the way you react they start learning how to show the anger and tomorrow your kids will start showing it wherever they get a chance so if you want a peaceful happy enjoying life never show anger 18 days if you don't show 19th day you will be all right every human being behavior pattern can be changed in 18 days practice 18 days you decide i am not going to get angry most of the people are very very reactive very very cunning assume you keep a glass of water on the table the daughter moves there and then the glass falls you will start scolding don't you have two eyes are you not seeing the scolding starts from there but assume by mistake the mother's hand and the glass falls who kept the glass here <laughs> so immediately you will change the pattern no how reflective is your mind how chalu you are never never do that because you have an authority it does not give you a freedom to scold because you have love never convert love into control two lovers loving each other one fellow will wait for the other fellow hours together how long you are waiting oh no no problem i just wait for few time but the time you get married make your spouse to wait for one minute finished serial will start there first chapter second chapter okay so never limitations and restrictions how to overcome you cannot overcome your limitations and restrictions unless restrictions are the environment limitations are your skill so what is to be done learn as much as you can you have a limitation on your vocabulary what is to be done learn language as simple as that how to learn language take a recorder if you want to learn any language the local language the easiest way is take a recorder scold somebody he will scold you back record everything learn that and then again try it with somebody else okay well the word will the world end in 2012 exactly if you want to know 2013 january 1st we will discuss this <laughs> anyway that movie will end by 2012 <laughs> because if you want to run that movie after 2012 they will have to change the name that will run the movie will end by 2012 as per hindu philosophy the yuga ends in 4 lakh 32000 years is kali yuga so kali yuga will end in 4 lakh 32000 years and we have just crossed 5143 years 
3102 July 17 this is the Kali Yuga starting so we just crossed few years so we have many more years to come and don't worry world will not end because after that again you will have similar to Treta Yuga Dwabare Yuga and it will become 43 lakh 20,000 years and similarly you have Maha Yugas 198 crores of years only the world has passed and we will have 27 Manundaras is there we have only crossed 17 so we will definitely have more than 200 crores of years as per the Hindu mythology and that has to be right because the Hindu mythology explains the years of the earth's existence and exactly matching with the modern science experiments so therefore it will continue like that it's a movie therefore it's a movie it will move after that time is over mind our heart explain i think i have explained it before reading the question please enlighten us on whether what is that rat race we are how do we push much to be in the competition just on the nature lived course and the competition okay it's not competition it's wonderful increase your skill as much as you can increase your skill as much as you can keep a right good attitude these are the two things to improve in your life many of us are good but we don't perform many of us are good but we don't perform i'll repeat it many of us are good but we don't perform can you just clap once when i lift my hand up you clap it when i put it down you stop it okay as best as you can try it. I will give you two marks out of hundred for clapping it's a very bad clapping did you do as much as you can you tell me sincerely you didn't do no please do it try once she's clapping me. is it definitely clap I will hit you back do it I am just requesting you right you can do it, but still what you will do? You will do it like this. Why can't you do it with full heart? Please, do it. Can you just clap with one finger on your hands like this? Very fast, you can make a rain here. One finger. Two. Three. Four. sound is much better than the movie. <laughs> Correct? We can do it, but we will never do it. Yes, sir. We can do it, but we will never do it. This is the worst part in our life. If you want to compete with this world, the only thing is do it as sincerely as we can. Many people don't read. Many people don't understand. They don't study well. You get only 90% mark. Why not 100%? Why only 60%? Not 70%? Because what is the biggest problem the kids have today? Distraction. Lack of concentration. Right? Agree? That's the biggest problem. When you open the book, you think something else. Somebody close the book and ask which book you are reading. Uh, you don't even know which book you are reading. That's a concentration power you have. Is it a big problem? It's a big problem and many people come to me saying that their kids or the children have no concentration. I agree. How many of you see movie? Two and a half hours. Is there any problem in concentrating? I am not able to follow this movie. Yeah? What's happening here? Is there any problem? Able to follow from left to right everything. When you see a movie, 100 frames per second. 100 frames per second. Each picture is a picture. 100 pictures are coming in one second. A digital movie, advanced digital movie. And in a minute you have 6,000 pictures. In an hour you have 3,60,000 pictures. In a two hour movie you have 7,20,000 pictures or more. Take one picture from that. Make a poster and put it on the road while traveling. One glance is enough. You will say, oh, this picture, this movie. <laughs> Do you think in a two hours you can put 7,20,000 pictures in your brain and you say you have no concentration? Less of buddhi? 
It's just because you have no interest in what you are doing. So education system is bad. I was director for academic staff college. Teaching teachers was my job. So with full authority I can say I have seen uh, my two lakhs of teachers are my students. The worst part, the biggest mistake of education system is the teachers are really bad. Teachers are really bad. They cannot make the classroom into a learning class. They just make the classroom into a teaching class. There is a difference between learning class and teaching class. Every teacher is a beggar. You know what they beg? Please listen, please listen. <laughs> they keep on begging, listening. Because they know sitting in the class, the students are not listening. Why they are not listening? Because the classrooms are not really encouraging thinking. They are just dumping information. I have a book on education. Learning and teaching pedagogies and practices through e-web and internet learning in which I analyze the learning styles and teaching styles and say how a teacher can be an adaptive teacher. Allow questions. How many teachers will ask questions like this? Write and give you anything I will answer. In that subject. How many teachers have good communication skill? How many teachers know the subject 100% is not required but 60% If the teacher knows 60% If they have got a 60% communication What the teacher can spit out is only 30 to 40% And as a student you have aberrations You cannot listen And 40 hours of lecture time or 1 hour of lecture time People can concentrate only 20 minutes If the teacher is wonderful that means in the classroom you can learn only 20-25 percentage. And what do you do for the rest of the learning? You have to concentrate yourself, read at home. Another 25 percent you can learn. What is another 25 percent learning? Discuss with your friends. How much time we have to discuss with your friends? Very, very less. And what do you discuss with your friends? Anything other than what you want to learn. It says an Acharya who is a master of the subject who practices what he learns is called an Acharya. Edyada Jaradi Srashta Tatta Deva Etaru Ojana Sayat Pramanam Gurude Logastha Danu Vartade. Somebody practices mathematics, seeing him, somebody feels, oh, I should also learn maths. And that person is a mathematician. Such a teacher, an Acharya, when he teaches, Acharya Pada Madate, quarter person knowledge only can be spared can be taught to the students. So 25% you learn when a real master teaches. Acharya Padamadate. Padam Shishya Swamedhaya. The students have to learn themselves 25%. Padam Sa Brahmacharya. With the friends discussion, they should learn another 25%. So 25, 25, 25, 75%. That's enough. That's why distinction mark is given 75. Padam Kalakramena cha. The 25 you can learn only later in your life with experience after some time. So never expect it to have 100%, but 100% is not required. 75% is must. And every brain is much more brilliant than what you think your brain is. Every one of us have got a better brain and we are not using it. That's the biggest problem. Brain is such a thing like elasticity. The more you use, it has got good elasticity. Don't use it and keep it for some time. When you stretch it, it breaks. It will not follow. So learn as much as you can in the childhood. That's the best way to become more concentrated, more learning. And then the rat race and the stress and everything will go. Because you are not doing what you wanted to do at your age, that's a problem. The child, my age 14, control these emotions. Never control your emotions at the age of 14. Teenage is the time when you have lot of emotional problems. Okay, physically stressed. Because physically more growing, I have got a class on teenage management. The biggest problem is the teenage problem. More to study, life decisions, what to become, what not to become, all getting decided during teenage. Emotional problem, all secondary sexual organs starts growing and you have got hormone imbalance and therefore lot of emotional problems. And physically growing more is a big problem, not growing also is a big problem for them. They start comparing with your friends. Hey, 
they will start looking muscles. Oh, I have more muscle. And those who have mustache, they will start putting it. If they don't have, they start shaving. All these problems will be The girls also have their own problems. So both boys and girls and teenage have got big problems. What is required is try to be as close as you can to your parents. All your emotional problems, physical problems, social problems, intellectual problems, spiritual problems, all that have to be discussed with your parents. If parents are good, if the parents are also bad, nothing can be done. They have to be treated first. How to reduce stress level today where the work culture when demands us to be high. If you are in an office and you can do the job with all the stress you have, do it well. If you cannot, quit the job. If you are good, you will get another job. If you are not good, continue them. Many people don't want to do the job and say too much of stress. But I am sure none of you are stressed as stressed as Manmohan Singh. And he is doing a good job. He is not quitting his job. I don't think he is. No, he is paid more and he has got a better life as what we have. We are much more happier. We can eat where we want. We can go where we want. He has a lot of restrictions. So what we think is stress is relative. Never imagine the world is very smooth. If you want to improve, the more stress. Every mound climber have got stress. Why he takes that stress? Because when he reach on top of it, he can enjoy. So anything which you do with the maximum stress will give you a lot of experience in life. And that experience will make you to do much things better in your life with less of stress. But never get into heart attack. But before that, stop. Heart attack can come to people when they get more stress. Don't reach into that. But most of the time the stress in the office can be relaxed at home. But if you have stress in the office and at home, you quit one of them. I used to say that you change your wife. If you are not able to change your wife, change your wife. Okay, that's the best way. And similarly, if you cannot change your boss, you cannot change yourself, change your job. Nothing can be done. Everybody cannot do every job. And understand the job is to make money, to get an earning, not more than that. Rest, you must have some way of enjoying your life. If you don't have enjoyment in your life, only working, and you will think after I retire, I will enjoy, you will never enjoy and you think that as a student I will take all the stress and then after getting a job I will enjoy definitely you are not going to enjoy not to enjoy you will say no before marriage you have lot of stress after marriage I will enjoy nobody have enjoyed after marriage <laughs> wife is, itself is very invited forever and husbands are husband you know no hus don't smile don't laugh hasnamat okay so both are difficult but what is required is enjoy every moment in life. As a student you enjoy, you will enjoy as an employee. As an employee you enjoy, you will enjoy your life. So it's all related. It's all your manas. It's all the way you want. You want to enjoy? Just enjoy. What's the problem? Purne manasi sampurnam jagat sarvam sudhadravaihi upana gudapadasya nenu charma strudaiva bohu first psychic patient who had got this problem was lord rama you know no siddha's husband <laughs> in ramayana there is a character <laughs> rama he was the first psychic patient he had a lot of tension and his father called the psychiatrist first psychiatrist was vasishta and vasishta gave 18 days of lecture that's why they 18 days 18 days of lecture to treat rama and the textbook of first psychology came out out of that. That's called Yoga Vasishta. In that he says, Purne Manasi Sampurnam. You are Manas. You think you are happy, you are happy. Your Manas says you are unhappy, you are unhappy. It's very simple. How? As the place wherever I am going, I want a leather carpet. Wherever I am walking, I want a leather carpet. Is it possible? Possible or not? Yes. yes, it is possible. Give a leather chapel and ask him to walk on it. <laughs> you want happiness wherever you go? Yes, possible. How? Be happy. Very simple. No? The people, there are people who carry unhappiness everywhere. This is not good. That is not good. Why? 
because you are unhappy. Assume you are happy, you will always enjoy. The easiest way is to change your mindset, okay, and reduce your stress level as much as you can. Don't add extra stress saying that I am running this, nothing is going to happen. How to learn to say no, being a straightforward person, wherever you have to say no, say no. Nothing wrong in that. The time you have to say no, if you say yes, it's the biggest mistake which you are doing to yourself and you will become more and more unhappy. And you get angry, emotionally uncontrolled, you become upset, all that can happen. If you don't love somebody, if you don't like somebody, if you don't want to do something, say no. Nothing wrong. Don't say no when you have to say yes. Don't say yes when you have to say no. One condition, it should never make you happy for temporary happiness. Don't say yes or no, but look for a permanent happiness. Never make you to do or not do something because you want to enjoy for some time and repent for that after some time. So, permanent happiness. That's the basic rule which you have. The competitive world, what do you suggest for the students to cope up with education? How to cope with the stress? There is no stress if you know the subject well, if you have skill and good environment, all that what I said. So, what is to be done is study well and for study without a tuition, just read only once. Don't read second time. Most of the problem with the parents are they keep saying study. Okay, I finished everything. Do you allow your kids to not to study before exam? You will again say study. They know that you are going to ask them to read again. So what they will do? In the first reading, they will not concentrate. Because any time you will keep on saying, can any child say that I finished my studies, this book is not required. You give that freedom to them, they will read only once. You keep on saying that you have to read. They know that they have to read again and again and again and again. So what they will do? It becomes casual. Assume you say that you finish reading. I am going to tear off your book. You are not going to get it back. They will read much better. And the best way to concentrate in education. 30 points to students. 20 points to parents and teachers. I have a blog. There is a blog on internet. Type in Dr. TPS. My name short form. Dr. TPS, temperature, pressure, second. Okay, Dr. TPS. And look at exam, enjoy, study. Give that keywords and search. Or send me an email. I will give my cards to you. Send me an email. I will send you those points. Just follow that. You know how to read well, how to study well, concentrate well. Very, very easy to write exam. If you know everything, you have no stress. If you don't know anything, you have no stress. I have written as many exams as I want. I enjoy my examination hall. You know why? I will read question. If I can answer, I will write it. If I don't know, I will see how others are suffering. <laughs> anyway, I have nothing to do. Why should I worry? Examination hall is the best place where you can enjoy. Either writing, because you can write whatever you want and your teachers will have to read it. <laughs> you know that? They were telling us to read. Now you have a chance for... <laughs> Returning back. No, I used to write my LLP exams. I used to write 60, 70 pages in 3 hours. Keep on writing. They will write, say no, or answer only 5. Why should I answer only 5, yeah? No extra money have to be paid for extra shit. And it's a wonderful chance. Right? You don't get another chance. Anyway, you have paid money. Enjoy. It's the best way. Never, never get feared about examination. There are wonderful methods of learning. Keep on writing exam. What you can do is, as a child you prepare question paper, give it to your friend. And your friend will make question paper and give it to you. What you do is, use a red ink pen and evaluate your friend's answer sheet. You will become a teacher. You will enjoy. Learning can be made in entertainment. I keep saying, it's not education, it's edu trainment, which we provide. Okay? Maybe if you get a chance, I will teach the students how to write exams. I had in Andhra Pradesh the other day, how to write exams for 10th class. I gave a class in uh, Tirupati, close to Tirupati, Anandapur. 
where Satya Sai Baba's place, the district is called Tripadi, had 3,800 students in front of me before examination and I taught them how to study well and write examination. I'm sure each one of them will get 20 to 30 percent extra. Very, very easy to get marks because the education system is so liberal. If you are a lightly, slightly better student, you can score well. It's not very difficult. Okay. What are the ways of scientific for reducing daily stress in your personal life? Explained enough. I think everybody has stress here. I am the only person I have no stress in my life. Some of the people can't do well with mathematics in general. Mathematics, many people feel upset because they never use it. Mathematics is one subject. My PhD is in mathematics. Close to physics. Fluid mechanics is my PhD. Where we use a lot of mathematics. In my mathematics class, I keep asking all that what you learn can be used somewhere. Many people don't understand this. Learn mathematics, use mathematics is not there. But I think the classrooms we can teach how to make mathematics easily usable. When you use it, that becomes yours. So use. Applications have to be explained in mathematics classes. Every teacher has to be a marketing personnel for their subject. And main problem with mathematics teachers are they are not good communicators. If I have to say where is your class, I will say it's in the numerator. I am going to denominator. <laughs> don't interpolate. <laughs> now these are problems. And they are not good communicators. And they don't, they are very strict. Generally mathematics teachers are very strict. They don't entertain questions in the class. These are the main problem. I think mathematics is one subject where you don't have to read, you don't have to work, but just think. And you can learn a lot of mathematics. Keep on applying it. Make it much more interested. Don't make it complicated. These are all the problems which we have. I think we will take up, if you uh, have some other chance to talk about each subject. I can talk about geography, history. So today somebody was telling, my son is good in maths, but history very bad. You can convert history into mathematics and learn. You can convert mathematics into physics and learn. There are many methods. You make a history. If you don't like, you like mathematics, draw a graph, write the year there. Every event you put there and it becomes a graph in front of you, paste in front of your study table. Every day look at it, that becomes by heart. You like geography but not history. Whatever happens in history, you draw in a diagram and then make into a map and that becomes yours. Every subject is related. Relate everything. If somebody is good, they are good in everything. If somebody say, I am good in social studies but not in maths, there is something wrong. And students generally love the subject based on the teachers. So if teachers are good, they love that subject. So teachers are at fault. Probably we will get a chance to teach the teachers how to teach well, not to cheat well. Okay? How does balance the professional career and family involvement since many of the time we are... See, in a life we have got 24 hours. 8 hours we are sleeping or 6 hours. Or maybe you are sleeping more time in the office. Forget about that. <laughs> okay? This much time. 6 to 8 hours we are sleeping. How many hours you work in the office? 8 hours. Eight hours. What is happening to the other 8 hours? It goes unaccounted most of the time. Travel, cleaning up, eating. In a life of 60 years, bar, okay, in 60 years life, people spend 20 years in sleeping. Okay? And how many years you are working? You say the whole life I am working. If you add all that together, it will not be become more than 6 years. How much time you have spent for eating? Another 6 years. People eat more time. Ega buktam maha yogi, dibuktam maha bogi, tribuktam maha rogi, chadurbuktam maha drogi. People eat four times. And after that, time pass it. You know how much time we are wasting for eating and cooking? And cooking time more is used, but eating less time. Is there any father or mother says, eat coolly, slowly, enjoy your food? They will say, eat fast and finish it. How much time you have taken for cooking? Two hours. Why can't you eat two hours? Yeah, enjoy it. You don't know what for you are living in this world. You don't account on your own life. We spend how much time on in front of the uh, mirror, many people? Comping hair, looking good. What? How does it matter? They keep looking on the mirror and saying, my nose is not good, it should have been like this, so what? <laughs> 
you can't change yourself many people spend time on spending on their own unnecessary thought process you say i would have been much taller yeah this is the product how can you sell it <laughs> don't think of changing this product if there is some production problem what can be done you are not coming from same factory where somebody else is coming you are produced in a different factory but at least what you can do can you use it sufficiently well what is essentially required is we say no i have no time with my family not required yeah when you reach home back just telephone your wife is in another office with somebody else doesn't matter just say hello it doesn't matter how much time you spend together nimisham jolitam shreyam nadu dhumayitum chiram nimisham jolitam shreyam nadu dhumayitum chiram it's important to spend efficient effective time than spending more time like a smock fire your time there is a poet in kerala how many of you are malayalis kerlets yeah you know that kadamanitta there is a poet he has got a poetry called shanda illa namukka ay oru sandhya ra paadi allade mattonnu villan nirikave artham koduthu volipichedukana we have no evening half of the evening is also not with us and what do you do you say that you have no time with the family how effective time you have used with your family while eating you don't even look at the face who is serving you correct how many of you look at maybe you have to look at back and say no oh you are my wife <laughs> i think you don't spend sufficient time that's must 5 minutes at least that much you have time only to read newspaper and see tv and see you know somebody aishwarya roy's face is too much in your mind but <laughs> Look at your wife as you are seeing Aishwarya Rai. Oh, how beautiful. Nice. Let's have sufficient time. Every bird has got sufficient time with their family. And if you don't have, why do you work? For whom you are working? You can become Krishna Rama Govinda any day. Off. No guarantee that tomorrow morning you will wake up. Is there any guarantee? Anything can happen any moment of time. What is the point in hugging and crying to the dead body after that? no purpose mahatma gandhi says have interpersonal relationship with the people as if they are going to die next moment we have in bharatiya shastram we keep lot of dasma vibhuti here have you seen the white powder which is kept you know what is it says i am going to be like this therefore please don't scold me <laughs> and you are going to be like this never forget you are going to die very soon when god only knows any moment <laughs> therefore never have a relationship with the people as if you have only little moment together you will start loving your spouse not doesn't mean that you have to be with all the time there no it doesn't matter whether you how you how much time you have is not what is mattering the time which you have are you making happy to be each other so that you have moments of things to remember in your life how much time we have with our kids every father or mother do they keep their kids in the on the lap do do you keep your spouse on your lap and find time at least to keep the hand on the head and say i love you today go and say they will see you know something wrong with this <laughs> okay make it a practice that's very very essential okay where take a uh, go sup for her my speaker so crazy what able to read what it would be there to get take off where give up this if somebody can read this after this i'll take it up okay how to grasp the crux of the issue when it is very very descriptive and oh wonderful it's very easy to look at i have a professor when he gets the best book he don't read that he first reads the index and then goes to the end and see the references he says this book you know this i know <laughs> any book given to him takes only 2 minutes you have the prose writing in the essay generally is it not the examination in the english you have got a prose writing they'll give a paragraph and say that give the title very easy i was teaching english in 1980 81 84 during that time 
1984, I was teaching Randon Martin English grammar to become students those days. And they used to say, if you have a prissy writing, you want to read that, it's very easy. Read the first paragraph and the last paragraph, you know everything about it. Read it. Anything if you want to learn, the easiest one is read the first and the end. And then, look at the whole thing. You will understand it well. If you have a book, physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, geography, economics, anything you bring it to me, I can make the student to learn that in a week's time. 100% mark guaranteed. If they are slightly brilliant. 80% and 75% is very easy. Any buffoon also can get. It's very easy if you know the structure of the textbook and you know what the contents is and why that book is given and in what order it is given with the base if you can start constructing every book becomes very easy to learn. You know how much time being in government serving in the university I have seen committees sit on each book every year to know which sentence is to be removed, what is to be put here, whether this subtitle, this part is to be removed, this is to be kept there. How many professors are spending time on that? You know why? Because that is how it is structured, that is how it is made for the students to understand and learn perfectly. So it's very easy, any book, probably any book in the sense, books which you have to be studied. <laughs> there is no mention there. If you write a novel, read a novel, probably you have to read the whole thing. Some modern novel, if you read the whole thing also, you will not understand anything. Okay? How to return such issues in the memory? To reach in the memory, the best way is you have to tell somebody else. The best way is to tell your own friends. That's why Brahmajari Bhya. As you study, tell your friends. If no friends, what is to be done? You are not a social being. You are not a human being. You are an animal. At least if you don't want your kids not to involve, not to discuss, not to talk to anybody at home, mother, father, brother, sister, relative, somebody keeps on telling what you have learned. Every mother, father should be able to write same examination as the kids are writing. Same question paper, give it to them, ask them to write. If you get marks, your father also should get same mark. Teach them as well. If nobody is there, open the gate, go and call priest, brother, come now. The physics is this. <laughs> Try to explain to somebody else in your life. That's the best way. I think once you teach somebody else, express, make the knowledge to yourself and communicate to somebody else, the subject becomes yours. Okay? Now here... The real lesson, what is that? How to control stress? I think I have sufficient stress on this stress problem now. How a child can increase the confidence and concentration skills. Confidence, concentration skills. The more you study, you become more confident. And definitely understand something. Everybody cannot be doctors and engineers in this world. If there are doctors, there has to be patients also. Okay, so you have to create more patience. I think it's not essential that when you plant a coconut tree, you cannot get mango out of it. Is your kid, they will be like you. How to perform well in the school? Don't expect everybody will get first rank, first rank and full marks and all that. Okay, everybody has got their own field of interest. You have best example in your studies in childhood will never affect your career and the best exam. Read my Orkut community and my interview on Zazo, you will know my background. Okay? And you will realize that I am not a good student in my childhood, but I am an excellent student today. Give me any topic. If you can get that much marks, I can also get. Guarantee that. How could you achieve the multifactored personality? Is it possible to all the achievements in life? I, am, I never read this, but that is what the next question is. Please about you to see that in spite of what you have. It's just... Every moment in life, keep reading as much as you can. I have little bit of papers in my bag all the time, in my pocket all the time. When I wait for somebody in the bus stop or in the railway station, I'll pick it up and start learning it. Don't waste your time in life and read, learn as much as you can. If I travel in a bus, if there is somebody sitting beside me, I will know what he knows within the time of two hours span which I spend with him. I will learn what he is doing I don't have to read a book because I am getting sufficient knowledge in from his experience. Keep discussing with the people that's the best way to learn. How to evolve as an individual in society. I said you have to be too social. Ena kena prakare na yesse kasyabi dehi na ha sandosham jane yapratna tadevam ishara pujanam. 
Serving people is what is serving God. So the more you become more social, more open, no ego, as simple as you can, you can serve the society and the society will give you back as much as you want or more than what you can get from your own capability and somebody will start supporting you. I would appreciate if you could serve so on. Coping stress, I think the stress things have been put. Leadership quality. Leadership quality you want? You want leadership quality really? Somebody asked a question on leadership quality. I think I have not too many, but I have few CDs on this subject. I don't have many. Is there anybody who want this? Is there anybody who want this? Is there anyone who want this? This is my lectures at Vivekananda Institute on Human Excellence on leadership qualities, personality development, communication skill, self-improvement, confidence building, each one hour, one hour, eight hours. And this is O students. O students means how to study, how to perform. The lectures are for teachers and students in various places in India from Meerut to Trivandrum or maybe Palakkad or somewhere. Maybe few of them I have just copied and dumped it. I have only very few. Is there anyone who wants this? Is there anybody who want this? Yes. 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 I want. Is there anybody who want this? Yes. I want it. Is there anybody who want this? There is only one person who want this because this is what is leadership. Everybody want one, but nobody will move from their seat. You expect me to come and give it to you? He came, he said what? He is the best leader, but I want to avoid him because no, he is the president I, now. I stopped myself because I know that he is an organizer and director. And therefore he is going to do So it. he deserves a chance first. Yeah. But the moment and he, he came, came, but I, I just came. wanted to know. Yeah. So you replace him. So both leaders are good. Give them a big clap. How much I should charge this? What Shisha has to do, I am willing to do. No, you tell me how much I should charge this. I have only very few copies. You tell me how much I should charge this. It should go beyond charge. So whatever service... No, you tell me. I live on this. It is beyond charge. It but you not tell me how much it should not be But that you cannot say it should not be priced, therefore give it free. You tell me how much you will pay for this. <laughs> Ten reals. Eh? Ten reals. Is going to pay 10 reals for this? Yes. Does it worth that much? For Probably. me it is priceless. Good. Yeah. I have only two copies. How many of you will pay more than 10 reals? Now I will bargain. <laughs> now he said 10 reals. How many of you will pay more than 10 reals? I have only three copies. It's so only three people. So you will not get it. Is still he was a leader. But what happened? He was slightly worried when he said not 10 riyals and above that. He has given a good price. Don't give it. 10 riyals is not required. Okay. So how much? I have few copies. You can sell it in whatever price you want. You decide the price. Okay. Sir, I am not going to sell. No, you must sell and give me some money. Okay. That's what it is. I have few copies. You can copy and distribute as many people as you want. Give it to him. He has offered that service. Give it to as many people as you can because I don't have sufficient copy. And I have few books, probably one of the books is one of the highly motivating poetries which I have written during last two years in my office in Delhi where I had not much of a job. <laughs> okay, so I was writing poetry there. And one of the first poetry is Race for Birth. Anybody who loves poetry here? Jump and come, who are loves poetry, who can read this for me. Very fast. This is what is leadership. What I said is, I just want to demonstrate. You get a chance. Now I see, you know, somebody feels you want to go. Then he said, no. <laughs> no? Read it. The first part. Raise for that. Louder. Come in. Does it work? It's on. Yeah. Good, good. This is the story of my birth. Raise for birth. The raise for birth. This is the story of my birth. I fought with millions, millions of my unborn brothers and sisters. I fought for life before my birth. My birth was a battle. Anyone could have received life instead of me. The sperms from my father fought to reach my mother's egg. I was 
conceived when I raised with many of my unborn brothers and sisters, I am the winner. In life, I don't have much to struggle as much as I have struggled for life. I am great and I believe in me. I can run and win this, the race with anyone in this life as I have won the race for birth. Wonderful. That's a gift for you. Okay. In life, this game in Malayalam also in Kalakamudi called the Malsaram. It's a poetry name in Malayalam. We all take births and we are all leaders. By birth itself we are leaders because millions of sperms from the father get into the mother's egg and only one sperm takes the birth. And that's we, each one of us, right? How many sperms did not take birth? Millions of them. So we fought with them and then got the birth. Are we not great? Lift your hands up, take it back and say well done. <laughs> Congratulate yourself for taking this birth. Never get feared in this world. And you are the leader. Each one of us are leaders. But what happens is we pull us back all the time. No. Never do that. A leader is a person who have Udyamam, Sahasam, Dhairyam, Buddhi, Shakti, Parakam. Six qualities. Udyamam, entrepreneurship. Yeah, I want, I want, I want. Good quality. But that's not enough. Jump into action. Sahasam. Dhairyam. You must have. Those who have, they will know. Those who don't have, they will also know. <laughs> Buddhi. Shakti. Courage. Udyamam. Sahasam. Dhairyam. Buddhi. Shakti. Next is Parakram. What is that? I wanted to do. Somebody says, don't go, yeah. They'll pull. You have a lot of friends around you. Say, you want to do something. No, 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 it's, don't do that. Just slap them and go ahead. That's what is Parakram. Shadhe de yatra vartande devam tatra pragashyat. These qualities are there. God will come behind you to help you. You don't have to go behind God. And you will be successful. That's the best quality. I've read many of them. Brotherhood harmony among us. I think if you're a good person, you'll be having people around you. Never become a beggar of lover. But be a giver of love, people will come behind you. Keep serving people, they will come behind you. There was some interesting question which I read in the beginning that was on radiation effect of um, mobile phones and all that because I am from radiation. More than that, I remember coming to Oman eight years back. My lectures were on the life patterns, on looking at uh, Vastu, astrology, and looking at the aura. And you have a life energy which is a bioenergy. Any energy which is not harmonious to you can harm you. You have an energy in your life because every cell has got a consciousness and from one cell to another cell it is not connected but we have a body which is connected internally. That is because of the life force energy which we have which can be called as consciousness which can be called as Chitta Chaitanyam Tejas Aura or any name and whenever there is an external force trying to pull it like a cell phone becomes an external force any signal becomes an external force any bad place becomes an external force that could harm your cell pattern and that cell pattern can cause up to cancer today because cell pattern change is what is causing cancer so assume you keep your cell phone on in your pocket you can have a heart problem assume you keep it on your pocket on bottom your sperm content can be less so you will not have the reproduction capability assume you keep it closer to your brain for a long time you can have undefined diseases don't know what you will get minimum brain tumor can be one of the things which you will get. But don't worry, it's not only cell phone. There are many things. You can see in the microwave oven, there is some sticker which always there that the pregnant woman should not go closer. Why only pregnant? Because during that time, the kid can get more effect very faster. Any radiation is not a problem if it is only for a fraction of a second. A bulk radiation or a small radiation for longer time is really dangerous. You could happen from the ground. It could happen from the signal boards. It could happen from your telephone. But best thing could be use telephone with a 
cord earphone keep it slightly far whenever you are not using it keep it in the back keep it somewhere else so don't keep it as close as you want hold it in your hand is equivalent to keeping it in your true body because the hand represents your whole body the energy flows from your hand therefore keeping it long time in your hand can create lot of problems undefined diseases it can give you headache it can give you tumor problem you don't know what you will get you get irritated very fast sometimes you get angry very fast you get tensed very fast you can be emotionally non controllable because all these are energy flows especially never give it to kids up to the time they grow in the height that means when the cells are growing don't hamper it okay there are lot of research done on this and there are some people who come with what is called a harmonizer which can be inserted in your phone so that the radiation effect can be reduced but that is much more costlier than cell phone okay no guarantee that 100% it will work but in america it's very common and earthtransition.com you can look at the website they will give you the details in pune in india also they have got some cards being manufactured but experimentally it is found that not that effective so i am into this research for long time the best thing is you can't avoid using it but try to use it as less time as you can if you want a long conversation you used to use a earphone and probably the the bluetooth is not very bad but that can be one of the option which you can use okay so one question which i read in the beginning um specific for children what is that time management i don't manage time but i manage activity time is 24 hours you can't manage it you can't reduce it or increase it what is to be managed the activity in the given time how do you do that it's like i asked you one question whether you are busy or manmohan singh is busy right so he is doing much more things we are pretending that we are busy really we are not busy if you know how to spend your time one simplest example is take a vessel it's 24 hours you put big stones first put smaller pebbles and then then put sand the smaller pebbles will find place in between the big pebbles and sand will go within then pour water water will go and fill it up what you do is take equal amount of water sand pebble and big stone put in the other stand take vessel pour water first sand next pebble next you will see big stones will have no space you have a big target in your life smaller activities in your life try to mix them in between and if you know how to plan your activities well you will never find problem sitting here i will be able to tell 7th class students 1976 76 or 75 even i was in 7th class my classmates list of names are there in my diary from here i can telephone to my son and say in my cupboard in so and so place that book is there pick it up exact place i remember even now many people spend time on searching what many things are on right have a systematic life keep writing you will never find difficulty in spending time cooking is very easy you will easily you can do 10 to 15 minutes cooking what is the problem in time sleep only when you get sleep don't go to bed and then wait for sleep wake up as soon as you wake up get up don't wait for 6 o'clock 7 o'clock alarm to sound unnecessarily wasting time is it not as soon as you wake up get up how many of you want to change your routine if not you at least to hold family members especially children i am all right my children have to change you don't change how your children will change <laughs> You want to change your family routine as soon as you wake up you will get up you want to change yes very simple yes yes not enough louder yes yes drink 6 liters of water and sleep tomorrow morning you will run <laughs> for no most of the no okay reduce it to 3 liters <laughs> as soon as you wake up i'm sure your sleep will not be disturbed as soon as you wake up you will get up make it a practice at least to drink water when you are at home because many people don't drink sufficient water therefore most of the problems in life is because of that clean your body with a lot of water good breathing techniques okay and when you get sleep go to bed as soon as you wake up get up 
Many students, when I ask in the class, what do you do as soon as you wake up? We go back to sleep. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Do you think the positive thinking man or woman? And I think uh, positive thinking is not enough. Positive actions are enough. Many people have positive thinking. But what happened? No action. <laughs> so action is more important than thinking, okay? Complete now, how to balance between personal, family and social and professional life. I think the time management, activity management, just keep talking to people, send SMS, send email and talk to your friends, relatives. Every time and ever, doesn't matter how much time you spend with them, spend useful, productive, happy moments. Best way to keep relation is to have nice, good words. What a style you have, nice banyan, nice color you have. Is there anything wrong in saying to someone? Use nice words. Priya vakya pradhane na sarve tushyantu jandavaha tasma tadega vastavyam vajanega daridrada. Everybody will be happy when you use nice good words. Why can't you use nice good words? Why do you want to be kanjus in talking to people? Use nice good words to people. You are brilliant, you are smart, you are good, you are cute. Is there any problem? Tell them, they will feel happy. The relations will be good. When you attend a marriage, a party, how much you purchased this sari for? 1000 rupees. Abba, 500 rupees, it's available in the market. So that you will get a heart attack. No? <laughs> Why do you want to make heart attack for people? Yeah? And what are you gaining by this? Instead of that, you say it's a wonderful sari. It does not cost you anything. There are some people when they open the mouth, you know, finished. <laughs> Nothing will happen. I think that's what is more essential. Okay. Social relations and its objective. Rituals. What is it? About social rituals and its objectives. Social rituals, if it is the ritual, it is to maintain good relationship. The only way to have a good relationship is to live together and have a social activity together. That could be one of the reasons where social rituals, religious rituals are kept. How do you give? What is that? Career and management. How to be very good team leader. I think I have shown experimentally how you have to be a team leader. A leader is a person who does things and people want to follow him. Understood? Seeing him, oh, he is a great man. I will follow him. Not that you demand the people to follow. If you have a quality, people will be behind you. If not now, after some time. That's what a leader should have. I am finding difficult to manage my time, office and personal life. Ask Manmohan Singh. He finds a lot of time. I remember having dinner with Manmohan Singh. Whenever speaking something, he said, Oh, Shashi Kumar, no? why can't you discuss with my wife? And he pulled me there and introduced me to wife. In a party also, he finds time to spend with his wife. You can. Why do you think you don't have time? You are not busy. Use quality time discussing with the people. Okay? After education, the people, people are in following as per the is it passion? After education, our people are following as per passion. I don't know passion. Is it passion and education? Mixing together? You can have a passion. Education can be something else. You can have a passion. Your job can be different. If it is that. Your job, education and passion could be entirely different. I have a passion in learning and teaching. But my profession was nothing to do with this. I was a police in uh, in government of India for two years. I was a scientist for some time. I was director of academic staff college some time. I did many different jobs. But my passion was always teach. You can always run it parallelly if you can. If you can. Okay. How to handle negative emotions that increases. The best way to have the bad smell out of your place are two things. One spray a nice smell so it becomes good. Pretend that you are positive but that does not work for long. At heart you have to be good. Priya, if you want to say good words, the word comes from, the action comes from the manas. Where the action and word comes to the manas, what you see around is what is feeding. You must have good parents. Then your kids will be good. If you have bad parents, you will have bad character. 
That's one. Maybe you have taken birth in a wonderful family, good education system. Do not guarantee you a positive life. No guarantee. We have a wonderful example from Mahabharata. We have got Duryodhana and Dharmaputra. Who is good and who is bad? Everybody knows, right? Dharmaputra is good, Duryodhana is bad. They have taken birth in the same family, studied in the same school, same professor was the teacher for them. But one person became good, one person became bad. The answer is, if you are with good company, you will become good. If you are with bad company, you will become bad. So you become good or bad, depend on whether you have a good company or bad company. And your good company and bad company, who has to control? Parents have to control. If the parents are blind, you will have bad company. That's why Duryodhana's father was blind. If most of the fathers are blind, <laughs> they don't care their kids. As soon as they get out of their house, they will forget about family. Generally, ladies will carry family along with them. Wherever they go, they start discussing about my son, my daughter like this. Gents will not discuss. They will discuss about uh, what is that, Bill Clinton and uh, you know, all the other national, international problems. That's, that's how they are manufactured. Nothing can be done. It's a manufacturing defect. So what is to be done? Now as ladies, you have to open your eyes. Instead of that, Gandhari, what she did? Became closer to husband, left the kids there. Never do that. If that's why I always keep saying mothers are the real gate. If a student, the son is good or bad, the whole responsibility goes to mother. That's why Pancha Pandavas never had father with them. Only mother took care of those people. They made them perfect. So take care of the company of your kids. If they have good company, they'll be wonderful. The bad company, you can't help them. Okay, so that's more essential and let that be the message for the day. I think I have answered most of them. If I have just skipped some of them, maybe one or two questions if you have, you can always email me. Finding me is not at all difficult. I spoke one and a half hour. Girish had a lot of problems.